Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good morning, I'm Sierra Cersei. Let's take a look at the top stories we're following for you today. Bentley Community Schools working to prevent a spread of bed bugs after a possible sighting of them at Bentley High School. The superintendent says that a video was reported sighting, reported a sighting that was not enough to give a positive uh, positive identification saying it's really unlikely that bed bugs will infest a school, but the district is following health guidelines from the county and the state. We're expecting to learn more today on how a stolen car ended up in Flint River, Flint River on Thursday. Law enforcement pulling this SUV from the water at James P. Cole Boulevard near Garfield. The Genesee County Sheriff's Office sent a dive team just after three in the afternoon. They tell TV5 no one was inside the stolen car. Independence Bridge will close this morning at 7. You will be detoured to Veterans Memorial Bridge. Bay City Bridge Partner says that it's working with the city to avoid any bridge or traffic issues during the primary election on Tuesday. The bridge is expected to reopen tomorrow evening at 6. Let's take it to Matthew Mondro for a look at our first alert forecast. Thank you, Sierra. For this Friday, we are first alerting you to a big cool down today. Something we've been discussing in the forecast for a few days, though. After all this warm weather, highs today only into about the middle to upper 30s, 40 really only attainable for Owasso, Flint and Lapeer. We have a cold front moving in from the north. That's the reason or part of the reason why it will be much colder for today. Wind chills also only staying in the 20s for most of the day. If you put away that heavier jacket earlier this week, you will need to get it back out for your Friday here. Now your first alert hour by hour does have more cloud coverage moving in with that cold front and we're still maintaining just that isolated chance of a flurry or a couple of snow showers. Certainly nothing very significant with this chance, but just something that is possible with some of that moisture influx coming in off of Lake Huron and the Saginaw Bay. Otherwise pretty quiet into the weekend, mostly sunny on your Saturday in the thumb. You'll see the sun returning during the afternoon tomorrow, but even colder for your Saturday, only a high of 31 back to 47 on Sunday. We actually continue to warm back up towards 60 by Tuesday before another cool down on Thursday. Highs by then back down to 35 degrees. Now that warmth around Tuesday and Wednesday does come with a couple of chances of rain. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.